Open Office Mail Merge Labels Part 5 using the Mail Merge Controls. Up until this point, it's been pretty tedious and you probably have been thinking, what's the point? Why didn't I just type the addresses out? And we're going to give you a show here. Okay, here we are with our lovely label form ready to go. We're going to say File and Print. Your document contains address database fields. Do you want to print a form letter now? We're going to say yes. Okay, we've already looked at this control. This is for file or printer. Oh. We also have other controls up here. Uh, we can find a certain record if we want to find oh close let me let me change this to last name and let me now search for last name let me say Smith and say search and close and there we are our record indicator shows that we found the Smith that we were looking for and as you can see we can we have which records we want to print we can print them all or we can print records like let's say 1 to 17 now let's uh, just print preview that we'll say okay and there we are we have one two three four five six seven eight plus nine that's seventeen and we are going to have seventeen records let's go cancel file print again yep okay we can also select records if I click right here on this gray part in front of the thing I can select if I want to scroll down a little bit let's go to here I'm gonna hold down the shift key on my keyboard shift that's what gives you capitals and I click on that and just like in any other selection that shows me that I've got 10 records of the 38 that I can print let's just look at that And yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are going to print. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go in one more time. File print. Yes. Okay, so I could print selected records. Let me look at that again. If I want to select different records, I can hold down my um, shift button as I showed you. Or I can hold on the control as I click and I want to do Carter and cash and I go down and each time I do these I now have five records and it's going to print the selected records so if I do this I'm going to only see five labels one two three four five yep And one more control up here. Up here we have a sort. So let me go click on the last thing and I'm going to say sort ascending. And now I've got everything in alphabetical order. See this one? This is sort descending. So let me click on that and say sort descending. Now I've got everybody backwards. Let me click on the regular old sort. And let me do last name. Let's go ascending. And first name. Ascending and say OK. And there we've got these in ascending order by last name and then first name. So if we have somebody, if we have two Joneses, Paul's going to come before Sam alphabetically, as we'd expect. So that's how you can use this to sort these in order. Now, let's do the most common thing. 
that might be the way we want to use it in the database, but most of the time we want to sort alphabetically by the zip code. And we had one record down at the bottom that was XX. But remember when we tried to sort this in the spreadsheet and the zeros were coming up uh, at the bottom after the numbers because it was sorting those as text and the other ones as numbers. Here it's a little bit smarter. It knew that the zip codes, um, it sorted them all like they were text. Great. That's one of the ways that this is very helpful if you wanted to put everybody in a different country. Um, let's just do this. Let's go. And I only want to print labels that are for a certain country. So I'm going to go the, I'm going to sit over here. I'm going to go to the auto filter. And Let me remove that. And that's not how that worked. I need to click on this country, say auto filter. And now I'm only seeing people that are of, a, of that country. Let me turn that off. I now want to see only people that are from California. So I'm going to say auto filter and now I'm only going to get the people on my list, 17 people that are in California. Cool, cool. So if I go to print, I'm only going to see the people in California. If I want to um, then sort in zip code ascending, my people in California with the ascending zip codes very easy and if I print and say okay and there they are in all their glory all of them in ascending zip code order hope that gives you some idea of what you can do you can sort you can zip Again, that's all right here for you. Uh, as you can see, it saves the filter from last time, so I want to remove that filter. And I can start over. I can sort anything on any column. Again, last name. There you go. Very cool. And the original database is being left alone. This is in um, the original spreadsheet is just fine. If I want to make changes, I have to save the spreadsheet and it will automatically reflect in here. So that gets you some of the idea of what you can do with this powerful mail merge control.